I sure wish we'd get through with uh, putting all these little parts on the deck of the boat so we could get the use of our garage back. As you know, there's lots of steps before we can attach these pieces to the hull. So there's routing and sanding and rounding over and all kinds of things to do. This is what we've got so far as what's going on around the cross beams. These are going to be the cleats that go on top of the cross beams, the akas. These are the bow uh, beam sockets. These are for the fore and aft deck beam sockets. Here's 12 um, lashing pads for the beams. And then there's two lashing pads for the shrouds. Here's deck pads that we still have to shape to the proper angle of the deck and everything. And then we've got 12 more of these that we have to shape that are actually go under the cross beams and sort of lock the beam. Well, they don't lock them because there's a little bit of gap in between there so that they don't slide back and forth very much when they're, the beams are lashed to the boat. So all in all, that's about 48 pieces, not counting the three cross beams. So it's 51 pieces right in that area. Okay, we're still working on placing all the blocks. We're getting ready to drill some holes in some of them. But uh, it's a slow process because each block seems like it takes a lot of individual attention. Ready? Ready. Perfect. Okay. Let's go that way. Right there. Oops. 
Do you want it? Does it look about right? These are just temporary screws just to hold it in while I'm drilling it. They're not meant to actually hold it on. Does that look square across there? It wasn't like funky. Because I'm actually going to bolt it through rather than screw it on. Through bolt. Still look good? everything pre-drilled before we get to the point where we're actually going to epoxy them on. Move right along. Let's get this thing out of the way. gone through here and tried to line these up. We've got marks on here. I, that probably won't show up on the camera. But clamp, clamp. Oh. That's not the clamp that you had. I'm trying to miss these screw holes here for screwing it back in because there'd be bolts going through there. Lines still matched up. Okay. Oh, we didn't turn the light on in here. Hmm. Yeah, that's it, Rex.
just so we know where everything is, we're putting everything back on here. Even though we're nowhere near. Well, we're close. Clue on where we're going to be. And like I said, these screws here are actually smaller than the quarter inch bolts that are going through there. Or will be going through there. Okay. Uh, Kathy and I have been working, seems like forever, on these blocks and sockets and pads and whatever for the deck to hold the Akas on. And uh, we figured out that the best way to do that is to make a little cardboard pattern for the height and angle of it. And then do one for each end because they're going to come up as different heights. And if it's just a tad high, that's okay. We, uh, I made these. And then I marked it with a felt tip so you could go down to the edge of the felt tip. But anyhow, we've tried using the big boy sander belt here. That was too aggressive, wouldn't hold flat. Use the table saw down there for cutting the initial six or seven degree angle for the deck curvature on the bottom. And that worked. But the bad part is, is uh, those little blocks in a very short period of time, the deck does go up. Yeah, the deck does go up one direction or the other. But it's easier if you have a disc sander like that. Because there's a flat surface here and you can work down to the, the lines more easily. Okay, that's all folks. Inside the screw. About there. Inside that screw, it's. I need to move that over to that block. It moved a little bit. bolts down there. Our screws here. Kathy's using Occam Pucky. It's a fastener lubricant. Just on the first quarter inch is all you need. Just, or beeswax. Yeah, or beeswax. Just stick the screw down in there and get a little on it. But then they go in a lot easier, especially in something. Oh, wrong one. Wrong tool. Get talking and don't pay attention. Next. 
Okay, these are the last pictures of these things until after we get them installed on the boat. But uh, we have to do a couple of coats of epoxy, drill a few more holes, and there is the long ones are actually to attach the trampoline. Amazing thing.